Have you always been interested in how early retirement works? Then this video is for you coming up. Hey everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to the channel where we talk about investing, real estate, and saving money to help you guys achieve financial freedom. In today's video, we're going to talk about early retirement and how to calculate the amount of money you need in order to achieve that. The idea of early retirement is that you have a set amount of money invested, you're going to withdraw 4% annually, and that money should last you for the rest of your life, and that's entirely possible. But also, I have to say, early retirement isn't for everyone. It's not the easiest thing to achieve, and it's totally acceptable if you still want to retire at the normal retiring age of around 55 to 65 years old. Early retirement is just another way of life, and there's no right way or wrong way. A common rule of thumb for early retirement is the 4% rule. That means you'll only withdraw 4% from your investment so that you don't run out of money. Of course, it differs from person to person depending on what your activities are in early retirement, like hobbies and travel, so you have to adjust the 4% accordingly. However, 4% is still a good starting point while calculating for your retirement number. The very first step is to calculate your annual spending and multiply it by 25. It should include everything your utilities, housing costs, transportation costs, hobbies, gym membership, even eating out and travel, everything. Because you don't want to drastically change your lifestyle in early retirement. You want it to be the same, right? For me and my husband, our annual living cost is around $35,000, but I'm aiming for $40,000 because it's just safer and the more money invested, the higher the success rate is in early retirement so that you don't run out of money. That means if you multiply that by 25, we need a million dollars invested. With a 4% rule, we can safely withdraw $40,000 per year, even though we only need $35,000. The final amount should be invested in the stock market and it should have a 5 to 10 percent return every year you live off four percent from your investments but you should always have an emergency fund available in case of a market crash or in case the market is down I'll give you a very simplified retrospective example. This chart shows the investment return of Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF VOO. I chose this fund because it's a very safe fund with decent returns. It has an average yearly return of 13.09% per year. If you're wondering how I got this number, I added everything and divided it by 10. And there are other numerous funds similar to this one. Let's say I invested a million dollars into this fund, but ideally my investments would be in different stocks and different funds because it's safer that way but to simplify this example i'll just use one fund in 2011 with a 2.04 percent return that means i can only withdraw twenty thousand four hundred dollars and that's way below my yearly cost of living so this will be the year that i'm going to live off my emergency fund in 2012, with a 16.01% return, that means my investment has grown $160,100. However, with a 4% rule, I only need $40,000 for my living expenses. So I'll only withdraw that amount and the rest will stay in the fund and will get reinvested. Or I'll withdraw 8% because I was using my emergency fund in the year 2011 and I need to put more money into it. In the year 2015, it has a return of 1.32%, so again, it doesn't cover my yearly cost of living, but because the years prior performed so well, I can actually still afford to withdraw the 4% or $40,000. Because like I've said before, this particular fund performs an average of 13.09% per year. So it doesn't matter that it's negative 4.47% in 2018, because the years prior will still allow me to withdraw the 4%. A typical emergency fund should be at least three to six months worth of living expenses so that in case of a job loss or unexpected events, you'll protect yourself from long-term debt. However, with early retirement, it's quite different. I'm actually aiming for three years worth of living expenses sitting in a savings account so that I don't have to sell a single stock during a recession. That means on top of the $1 million invested, we're going to need $105,000 sitting in a savings account. This is a very simplified calculation about early retirement. There's actually so much more that goes into it, like how much percent of your investments should go into stocks and how much percent should go into funds. If you're interested in pursuing early retirement, a lot of research and planning should go into it to ensure your success rate and to ensure that you'll never run out of money. If this video piqued your interest, 
interest about early retirement, do me a favor and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel because this whole channel is my journey to early retirement. Leave your questions down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>